called magnificent mantids. The end of summer is marked by a flurry of insect activity, especially around flowers. Bees, butterflies, wasps, and others dart and flit among the last blooms of the season, imbibing nectar and gathering pollen before their sources dry up, wither, and die. Often perched discreetly among this late-season buffet is the green and brown Chinese mantid. These rapacious predators became established on both coasts of North America in the late 1890s. The larger, heavier-bodied females can measure in at a whopping four inches in length. Both males and females are equipped with front legs bristling with rows of sharp spines that can lash out with deadly speed and accuracy, clamping down on unsuspecting insect prey like a vice. Chinese mantids eat all kinds of insects with ease and can even overpower stinging bees and wasps. With their own time running out, female Chinese mantids must quickly acquire enough protein to ensure that the hundreds of eggs already bulging within her abdomen will develop properly. Once her appetite is slaked, she injects up to 200 eggs in a protective foamy mass. When attached to a plant stem, the mass soon hardens, surrounding the eggs in a round, tough, papery case about one inch in diameter that will see them through the winter. Thousands of these brown, styrofoam-like egg cases find their ways into hardware stores, nurseries, each spring, where they are sold as biological control agents. Gardeners intent on using fewer pesticides and boosting existing populations of beneficial predators purchase the cases and place them in their gardens to hatch. Hmm. Like their parents, hungry mantid hatchlings feed opportunistically, eating any insect they can catch, including their siblings. <laughs> they do not have the same value system as we do and will make meals out of both beneficial and pest species. Mantids are classified in the order Mantidia and are closely related to grasshoppers, crickets, cockroaches, and stick insects. About 1,800 species of mantids are known worldwide, most of which live in the tropics. About 20 species, native and introduced, are known in the United States and Canada. The name mantis is derived from an ancient Greek word that means prophet or soothsayer. When not in use, the mantid's prominent front legs are held folded in front of its body, suggesting the act of prayer and giving rise to the common name, praying mantis. Hmm. Male mantids are often smaller than females, sometimes only half their size. Depending on the species, the wings of females are sometimes shorter and are often more colorful and less transparent than those of the males. As adults, many mantid species have a single ear located in the middle of their thorax near the junction of the abdomen. They are able to hear the ultrasonic echolocation signals used by bats to detect flying insect prey. Upon hearing such signals while in the air, night flying mantids roll sharply and enter into a spiral dive to dodge the bats, increasing their speed as they drop to the ground or seek refuge inside shrubs or other protective vegetation. Or walking along in a park hedgerow, take some time to inspect the lush vegetation just below the conspicuous blooms and the riot of insect activity hurtling about them. There somewhere, lurking in the shadows and tangles, you are likely to find a well-camouflaged mantid or two, picking off this year's pollinators and converting them into next year's predators. Mm. Excellent. Sometimes... There we go. There we go. Wow, she's a climber. Oh, they like to go up. Oh, this is definitely going in the video. My sister got a praying mantis in her hair one time, just when we were hanging out at a botanical garden. Kind of stressful, depending on your. Yeah, I don't think she was overly excited about it. Your glasses. But you look so distinguished. And well, I'll need them when I read. It's just they drive me crazy. I gotcha. All right. So this is Arthur Evans. We love his books. Ta-da. I can hold them both up, too. Ooh. Cool. See how talented I am? And poorly manicured. <laughs> there we go. Vanna White's got nothing on you. Constant, anyone? Wow. Oh. Whoop. Still going. <laughs> the Great Escape, we'll call this That's video. Right. <laughs> All right.